titrations. And we're going to do two labs um, on using this technique. Um, and the idea is that you pretty much have, um, here you have a beaker, and you might have an acid in here. You can also do this with a base. So if we start here with an acid, and suppose we know the molar concentration and we know the volume of this acid, we're going to titrate it with a base. And maybe we, we don't know what the molar concentration is of this base. We want to find that. We want to find the molarity of the base. So what we're going to do is we're going to look for something called the equivalence point. And the equivalence point is a very special point where the moles of the acid equal the moles of the base. You're going to see a color change uh, to indicate when this is happening. So at the equivalence point, moles of acid equal the moles of base. Moles of acid equal moles of base. Right. And so I said we know the molarity. Right, and what is molarity? You guys remember molarity? Molarity is moles over liters. So if you know the molarity and you know the volume, it's like saying if I know moles over liters and I know liters, if I just multiply them together, I can figure out what the moles are going to be. Does that kind of make sense? So moles over liters times liters give me moles. So if I know the molarity and I know the volume, I know the moles. And if the moles of the acid equal the moles of the base at the equivalence point, then the molarity of the acid times the volume of the acid has to equal Okay. has to equal the molarity of the base times the volume of the base. That's another way to think about it. So in this problem down here, um, you perform a titration and it requires 25 mils of sodium hydroxide to neutralize 24 mils of a 0.1 molar HCl. Determine the molarity of the sodium hydroxide. So in this problem, we know the molar concentration of the acid, we know the volume of the acid, and they're asking us to figure out what the molarity is of the base and we know the volume of the base. And so we can use what we, what we talked about up here in order to help us solve this equation, solve this problem. So if you know the molar concentration and the volume, you can always find the moles. So let's find the moles of HCl first. Let's, let's do that first. So moles of HCl. Moles of HCl. That's going to equal... I need to convert from milliliters to liters. So just divide that by a thousand. So uh, I don't know why that's... Um, so that's going to be 0 0.0240 liters, all right? So that's the volume, and we'll multiply that by the molar concentration. And this should give us the moles of hydrochloric acid. So if you work that out, it can take a minute. You can, you can always pause the video and, and work out your own math. We should get like 0 0.00252. Moles of acid. Now, at the equivalence point, these moles of acid also have to equal the moles of the base. And what this problem is asking us to do is we want to find the molar concentration of the base. So, molar concentration of the base of the sodium hydroxide is going to be the moles of the sodium hydroxide. Uh, over the liters of the sodium hydroxide. Moles over liters gives you molarity. Um, so they're talking about, you know, the initial molarity when we start off, uh, started starting the titration, not what's happening at the end of it. When the molar uh, molar concentration of sodium hydroxide is going to be the point zero zero two five two moles over the volume that it took together. So it says it took 25 mils of sodium hydroxide, so we'll divide this by 0.025 liters. And if you can do that in your head, great. If it's like showing the conversion from milliliters to liters, you don't have to show it, that's fine. And what do we get there? That equals 0 0.1008 uh, more, and if you just round that to three zigzags, you get 0 